G'day everyone, my name's David Little and I'm the manager of Rating Gardens Horticultural Services. Today I'm in the Danong Ranges, not to sightsee, but I'm here today to have a look at how nature does things. It's amazing how in the garden we really do tend to complicate things, but if you come to an environment such as this one behind me, you'll start to see how nature does it. And when we're doing a garden, sometimes the way we have to do it is the way nature intended it to be. Just come across this really exciting park just behind me right here. Now, how many people at home have a very similar spot to this in the actual garden? Where you've got a lot of tall trees, you've got a bit of moisture on the ground and nothing grows. Well, as you can see behind me, plenty of plants are available to grow. It's just a matter of understanding what you can really put in. I've just managed to find this really interesting piece here. What we've got is we've got an old fallen log that really does look under the weather. But the good thing about that is that's providing a focal point. This is what I mean when I talk about depth and contrast. It's really important in your garden to have a focal point. In this area here, it's the log. And the foliage around it of this bracken fern and some of the mosses underneath really do give that wow factor. You can easily achieve this in your garden, no matter what type of garden you've actually got. In this area behind me, we can see the middle canopy is pretty much non-existent. We have a very strong lower canopy and we've got a very strong upper canopy. This is really important because in a garden home you may have this type of situation already so you can work with it if you choose to. It really is amazing how nature has managed to figure out all of our difficult garden questions for us it's just that we really do need to know where to look. Well if you'd like any more information on today's subject or even previous videos, you can contact me on Facebook at Raining Gardens Horticultural Services or you can even email me at digit one at gmail.com. Well, I'm off home now, it's getting late, but I really have enjoyed my time having a look around and seeing what nature has to provide. Catch you up next time. Cheers.